David Gingell, welcome to Ad News Influences. Thank you very much, Paul. Retail offerings are easier in-house because they're quite simplistic. But the fact is, good ideas what drive ads and good creative people aren't going to come and work at a television station if they don't get the value of the working for the big the Toyotas of the world and the Fords of the worlds and the, and the big companies that do great brand ads. It's not as hard to do a retail ad as it's to do a brand ad. So I don't see the ad in industry, creative ad inside of the ad industry, being too traumatised by what we do. Us being value adding by creating ads that are more efficient from a production, yeah, they'd be concerned by that. But I don't see it as such a, I look at our numbers and SMG Red's doing a radically different, I can't see how they'd be too concerned by us. If CPMs are under pressure and we're putting extra people in and share of revenue of the ad market for free to air television is coming down, you're putting all these extra resources in, all these extra things, prices are coming down. At some point, it's not efficient as a company to go and put so much resourcing into creative making other people's ads because you don't get paid for it. Next week on Ad News Influences. But interestingly, we just passed the Network 10 building now. Um, I, I know it well. Yes, so we hear, in fact, you've got the one digital account. That wouldn't yes, have anything right. to do with, you know, your skew towards multi-channeling over pay TV. Mm -hmm.